For the first time in more than half a century, astronauts will soon be heading back to the moon. NASA's Artemis II mission will send four crew members, including Canadian Jeremy Hansen, around the moon and back to Earth. The CBC's senior science reporter, Nicole Mortolero, is in Houston and joins us live. So, Nicole, tell us, about, tell us what you're learning about this mission. Well, we're getting all the juicy details, talking about how far they're going to be going, what they're going to be testing the spacecraft and testing on themselves. It's important to remember that this is a test flight. Nobody has been in the Orion spacecraft before, and so and nobody will be going as far as this. Uh, so, for example, the Apollo 11 astronauts, they went 300 kilometers beyond uh, the moon. It, depending on the launch um, timing, our astronauts our own Jeremy Hansen could be going as far as 7,400 kilometers to 11,000 kilometers beyond that. So we are finding out just how important this mission is to set up for Artemis III when they will, NASA will have boots on the ground returning people to the moon. Um, but you know what? It's more than that. And, and this is why, this is what they had to say about that. We want to demonstrate uh, long-term capability on the surface of the moon. We are going to continue to add capabilities on the surface of the moon. Um, we are going with, uh, with uh, commercial and, and uh, international like-minded uh, partners. Um, and we are demonstrating those capabilities so that we can go on to the next destination. We've got our eyes set further, deeper into space, onto Mars. So this is a whole setup for going to Mars. And um, it's important to remember, this is an international mission um, with many partners. Uh, I think it's over 50 now uh, from uh, you know, countries around the world who are participating in the uh, Artemis Accords. And we have a Canadian astronaut joining the mission. What more can you tell us about that? So yes, it's Jeremy Hansen, and it's so exciting. He was recruited back in 2009 along with David Saint-Jacques, and so now he's getting his moonshot. It's uh, really exciting. But the other thing to consider is that the astronauts are actually going to be guinea pigs. The Apollo mission didn't really test uh, the human condition. They we're looking at geological uh, formations on uh, the moon, but this time they'll be doing their own experiments on people, on the astronauts themselves. And though this is a NASA-led mission, they had some wonderful things to say about Jeremy. We appreciate his inquisitive nature. He's one of the most curious people I've ever met in, in my time here. Uh, always wants to know exactly what's going on and uh, you know, demands a level of rigor. Not, not that we aren't uh, rigorous here anyway, but he just adds that little bit on the top that I think is, is truly helpful for our flight here. So, you know, Jeremy is, has been conducting all the tests and, uh, and all the, uh, you know, the prep work. And actually, I'll be sitting down with him uh, later today uh, for an interview one-on-one, -on -one, which is very exciting. But I also wanted to add, for people there out there who's like, you know what, you can participate in this mission. You can send your name to the moon with the Artemis II mission. So if people want to do that, they should look it up and uh, look up Artemis II, send your name to the moon. Nicole, thank you.